Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to make cowboy stew. What I have in my pot is two pounds of ground beef and I'm going to let that cook and I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'm also going to add about a half of a medium onion. I also added a couple tablespoons of chopped garlic. My ground beef has been in the freezer, so it's still frozen a little bit right in the middle, but that'll fall out as you're cooking it. And what I'm going to do is just let this cook all the way through until everything is browned and done, and then I will show you what we'll do next. My ground beef has finished cooking and now what I'm going to do is add two cans of pinto beans and I've drained these as best as I could. Two cans of tomato sauce, one can of diced chilies and I'm going to go ahead and stir this around. I probably should have drained some of the grease off of the ground beef but it's okay it'll be alright <laughs> and now to this I'm going to add some beef broth I don't know if I'm going to add one or two boxes but I'm going to start with one and then if I need more I'll add more okay before I add any more of my second can what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some potatoes and carrots you can add you know, as many as your family needs. If you don't want to put a whole two pounds of ground beef in here, then don't do that because, that, you know, that might be too much for your family. Um, I'm planning on having this for leftovers, so I try to make a bigger batch of it. But I'm going to go ahead and add these potatoes and carrots in here, and then I will come back and show you what we'll do next. Okay, this is going to be quite a big pot of soup and I still have one more thing to add. I'm going to add one pound of kielbasa that I've just sliced. Alright now <laughs> I'm going to, I'm not going to add that second thing of beef broth um, because I do not feel like I need it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and bring this up to a boil. I'm going to stand here and watch it very carefully so that it does not boil over and um, I'm gonna let this cook until the potatoes and carrots are done and then I will show you what it looks like. All right, I forgot to add one thing and that is some chili powder so I'm gonna go ahead and add probably eh, I'm gonna say about a tablespoon or so of chili powder and I'm gonna stir that in So now my potatoes and carrots are all finished cooking. This is kind of what it looks like when it's all done. You can see all the beef and the beans, potatoes, kielbasa, the carrots, the peppers. Everything looks so good and it smells so good. I cannot wait to eat this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.